Hey everyone, you've been with us for the entire journey of this golf tee mold prototyping process. So you remember we started with a design, then we moved to a hand mold where we prototyped. That was a video that I think a lot of you saw on LinkedIn. Mike and I were here, I think that was New Year's, and we were dialing that in. Then we went back, we liked what we saw there, we redesigned it and made some tweaks, and then what we did is we cut a mold out of aluminum for our prototyping machine here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this, we're gonna see what the golf tee is actually going to look like. You're going to be here for this with me. And then from there, essentially what we're going to decide is do we like the design or is there some more work that we want to do prior to designing and cutting a finished mold for large scale production. So before we get there though, we have to finalize this step of the prototyping process. So let's do it. So the machine is clamping together right now. I can't remember what we made in the last video, but if you remember, it takes about a minute from start to finish. But now the two pieces of the mold are coming together and we know that we've got our temperature. We're shooting to be plus or minus a degree or two of 180 for this specific polymer. Now the machine is injecting the not plastic polymer into the molds. It's going to cool down before it separates. And then hopefully after it's done homing, we're going to be able to pull this out and together we will decide if we actually like the design of this specific golf tee, which I think no matter what, I'm going to be a little excited. All right, it is complete. The moment of truth. Let's get all of our safety equipment here. So we've got a little string there. We'll dial that in. Pull this out. So let's see how this looks here. So this is a two cavity mold, meaning that it's gonna do two pieces at a time. This is, this is pretty incredible. So this is the golf tee mold that we had designed. It is very much like what we were hoping for. I think that we're going to dial this in we might make a couple of tweaks before we go to a larger cavity mold for uh, commercial production. But as far as prototyping goes, to be able to utilize our not plastic polymer with a fully functioning prototyped mold of a golf tee, now it's up to you who wants what. We'll see you again soon.